SIL. Hello again, I'm Julie Williams. We continue our COVID conversations tonight. We're looking at the impacts COVID-19 has had on you and your communities. For more on that, I turn it over to my co-anchor, Mark Kiesling. Thank you, Julie, and we're joined tonight by Jamie Story, Executive Director of the Greater Jefferson County Chamber of Commerce. Jamie, thank you for coming down and joining our conversation tonight. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Well, first of all, I wanna say congratulations. Thank you. To you in your new role. You've only been on the job for just a couple of weeks, right? Uh, a little under two <laughs> weeks, actually, yeah. I've uh, hit the ground running. Uh, I'm no stranger to the chamber. Right. Uh, I've been very involved in chamber for at least four years now. And so this feels natural. And uh, although this is a new seat that I'm sitting in, um, it's, uh, I, I know our members and that makes it comforting. I'm sure Mike made it a smooth handoff to you. Absolutely. <laughs> Mike and I worked for about two weeks on and off just to make sure the transition was going to be smooth. All right. Now, the Mount Vernon Fall Festival took place this past weekend. Big event. Yes. How was the turnout? How did the event go? So we're estimating 29,000 people came through Mount Vernon Fall Fest uh, for the two day event, Friday and Saturday. So to say it was a success is just an understatement. Um, we had fabulous free entertainment, wonderful vendors, um, some new and improved areas, a cruise in night. Um, we had, you know, some modifications. We had a, a small um, building collapse mm -hmm. on Ninth Street. So that kind of detoured some things, but, uh, but we made modifications. Everybody worked together to make sure the event was a huge success. You adjusted well and yeah. the event went on. And it, it went on. In, uh, in my first week, uh, I completed our monthly luncheon, had a board meeting and Fall Fest. So I feel like uh, I was put to the test from day one and uh, luckily I've survived. <laughs> well, how good was it to see the community coming together after all of the effects of COVID-19 and so many people being, you know, not having the opportunity to get out and mingle like that? You know, we are, we're a very social community and uh, not just Mount Vernon and Jefferson County, Southern Illinois as a whole. And so um, to have the last year and a half, all the events be canceled or postponed, it was so nice. It was an outdoor event. We had gorgeous weather. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember Drew Baldridge, our headliner right. Saturday night, saying how you know, he was so happy to be back in person doing live shows in the capacity that he was because he's missed that so much. And so um, we were just very thankful to have him in our community. Just it's, a short drive from his hometown. Right, and it's great to see these outdoor events sure. that people can go to, be able to take off the mask, yes. socialize, and, and be out and about and, and have something to do on the weekend. It, it's very nice. Um, I will say, you know, with, with weather turning and, and fall and winter, you know, just around the corner, um, we're gonna be a little shell-shocked mm -hmm. having to go back indoors, but um, you know what, people are very, um, giving and and they you know have the sense of what we've been dealing with the last year and a half we know how to make modifications and adjust accordingly what kind of modifications did you have to make uh, for the festival in light of COVID-19 you know it was mainly um, just making sure things were spread out more mm -hmm. you know tables were six feet apart um, our kids area didn't have, you know, quite as much, um, you know, the, the touchy, you know, activities mm -hmm. that kids like to do. Uh, we, we were still able to, you know, have the majority of what we would normally have at a fall fest. So um, I just feel like overall we, we did the best we could during the circumstances. Now you said you've been executive director of the chamber for less than two weeks. Mm -hmm but you've been involved in the community for many years. You have been in touch with businesses in Mount Vernon and Jefferson County. Yes. What are you hearing from business owners about COVID-19 and how they've been impacted? You know, they're still feeling the effects. You know, luckily we're not sitting where we were a year ago. Mm -hmm. we're, we're in a better state. However, um, employment's a huge, you know, uh, challenge that mm -hmm. our members are facing and uh, having to close earlier because they don't have the staffing, um, having to limit, you know, the number of people 
um, that they service. You know, that, those are things that still are an issue and will continue to be an issue. Um, we need to get people back to work. We need the workforce to um, step up and say, hey, I'm ready and, and I'm willing to go to work. And so when you do pull up to a member business and you patron that business, um, thank the workers that are there because uh, they're the reason that business is, is still open and able to serve our community. And I thank my community every day um, for staying open, making adjustments, and, uh, and, and continuing to serve you know, the members of Jefferson County. It has been a big time of adjustments. Some of those mandated adjustments, others yes. voluntary adjustments. Uh, but we have been hearing a lot about uh, uh, having a hard time filling those slots, those open positions. What are you hearing from business owners? Are they hopeful that that will turn around? We have to stay hopeful. Um, and, and yes, our member businesses, you know, if you drive down Broadway in Mount Vernon, you see no less than 20 now hiring signs. And, uh, you know, we're looking, we're trying to get creative on how we can, to, can find those people to come to work. And so, um, you know, the, the chamber's job is to support our businesses. And so if there is anything that uh, I can do to help support them, I'm going to do my best and, uh, you know, share the information that they're putting out there on social media and putting it in our newsletter. Uh, I had a meeting earlier today about uh, creating a community job board uh, for all of Jefferson County. So, you know, there's, there's things that I can do, you know, and, and each community member can do to make sure that we are not leaving our community underserved. There's a lot of challenges still out there from COVID-19, but I want to talk about an upcoming event you guys have that is, you know, kind of a reason for celebration. 100 years, the 100th anniversary yes. gala that's coming out. Can you tell us about what's going on and how people can participate? Absolutely. We are so excited that the Greater Jefferson County Chamber of Commerce is celebrating 100 years. Um, our anniversary gala is um, November 6th, um, and basically we're having a 1920s themed uh, celebration. It is uh, a, a celebration that we encourage people to dress up for. Uh, we're going to have all of the very interesting things like a shoe shiner and paparazzi and a red carpet and some old cars lining the streets of Ninth Street. Our event is being held at the Granada Theater. So it in itself mm -hmm. is a uh, sight to see. So we are, we are really throwing a party of a century and we invite the public. It's not just for chamber members. So I do wanna invite the public out to take part in this event. Um, tickets are $75 a person and they will be going on sale. I'm hopefully having the link live tomorrow on our website. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just very, very excited to be celebrating 100 years, you know, in, in, in spite of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And um, let's say something were to happen and we were not able to have the anniversary on November 6th. We have taken the stance of we're going to be like the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, <laughs> and we might have to have our 100th anniversary in our 101 year. Okay. So we're hoping that that's not the case. We are going full steam ahead, still making all of the plans to have the event on the Saturday, the November 6th, but um, also being mindful of you know our community and everyone's safety. And uh, yeah, we're very, very excited for this event. And very optimistic that you'll be able to pull it Optimistic is the word. We've been planning this event for a year and a half. So to say we would be devastated to have to postpone it, you know, it, it would be uh, sad, but we're not canceling it. Postponement right. does not mean canceling. Right, and all that information is available on their website. They have a great website. Search for Jefferson County Chamber of Commerce and you can find that. Thank you for being with us tonight, Jamie. Thank you so much. We have this interview and much more COVID-19 information on our website, wsiltv.com.